Here up it's our V Life checking in here from Lexington, Nebraska, here at the Mack Creek Winery. Today our V Lifers doing something new. We're using this app called Harvest Hosts. Now Harvest Hosts is really unique, especially for our V Lifers traveling cross country. What Harvest Hosts is, it's a collection of wineries, breweries, museums, and other sort of establishments like that that open up their land to RVers who will spend money or maybe help them out on their land in exchange for letting them stay there for a night or two. Today we're going to be checking out this winery right here and man it looks real beautiful. Take a look around. Now everyone, I never knew that Nebraska was known for their wine but we're gonna try it today. And if it's as pretty as the land is right here, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be impressed. We're gonna take it, take some taste and we'll let you know soon. Now, as you can hear, our generator is on. Harvest those sites most often do not have hookups. So if it's a real hot day, it's like it is right now, you might wanna make sure your generator's working so you can have air conditioning, especially if you have dogs like we do. Here, well, here we are on the inside of Max Winery, and here we are. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Hannah. Hi, Hannah, and how long have you worked here? Uh, about three and a half years. What could you tell us about this here winery? Um, well, we are currently in the second um, largest operating winery in the state of Nebraska, longest running, second longest running winery in the state of Nebraska. Um, we've been here for 17 years. We have a total of 34 acres of grapes. So. Man, that's real nice. And yeah. I never knew Nebraska was known for its wine. You know, we're just kind of it's a well kept secret, I guess. Yep. Well, you're not going to find any corn here. It just looks like they have a lot of wine. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. And here's our first taste of wine from the Max Creek Winery. Mmm. Man, that Nebraska wine tastes good. Yep, well, we just finished our wine flood, and now we're walking around the winery. And man, it's hot out, but I'll tell you what, I'm having a nice glass of my favorite wine I tried in there called the Celtic Air. And I'll tell you what, these harvest hosts are real great stops, and I wasn't too excited about coming through Nebraska, but I'll tell you what, coming to this winery it definitely makes it worth it. What a great way to support a local business. Now this is really cool. One of the things that uh, the nice uh, lady inside told us about is that at night the Harvest Hose guests are allowed to come back here and use these uh, propane fire pits and have a little campfire. And on Friday nights at this here pavilion, they have live music. Yep, well we had a nice night at the Mack Creek Winery. Time to move on to our next spot. But for now, this is our V Life. On and out. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, RV Lifer. You can subscribe to us by looking at the bottom right hand corner of this video and click the subscribe button.